What's up everybody, it's the Classic Tycoon here, and we're back for another Max Speed video. Um, just wanted to show you guys, I got the looping roller coaster to actually work, so I guess we'll ride it. I did it off camera. It was just bothering me that it was an ultra extreme and that no one was riding it, so I just threw in some brakes and brought down the lateral G's at the end, and it made the ride rideable so now people are going on it it's going to make us a little bit of money in the park so that we can keep funding the uh the roller coasters that we're going to be building so let's jump in today today we are going to do an air powered vertical coaster somebody in the comments on the last video mentioned that they would like to see the um what the inverted impulse coaster i think we haven't researched that one yet so i, I turned on the research for um, roller coasters to max so we can get more roller coasters going. I didn't even realize it wasn't on max. And um, yeah, that video will be coming in the future as we build more of these and get more research to have options. So since we're, we're not going to be able to do that, I figured we would do the closest thing to that that we have, which is the air powered vertical coaster, which you can see, you can see guys how insanely high this thing can go in the air so that's what we're going to do today um it's going to be very expensive with the uh the amount of heights that we're working with to get this roller coaster to work but money's not really an issue in this series um we've got pretty much all the money we could we could need um in our in our uh geez loan <laughs> i don't know if i can couldn't think of the word. Okay, so we're going to slurp, slurp, slope this thing up to vertical, go as high as we can possibly go, and put the little cap on the top. Not going to quite fit, so we're going to have to do it one lower. That is fine. Plenty high here. And then we're going to uh, drop this thing far underground, as well as far as it can possibly go. And then we're going to bring it back home. There we go. Um, it's going to be a little bit tricky to get this one to work out. I imagine the vertical and the, uh, and the lateral G's are going to be off the charts on this thing. But let's uh, let's bring it home here. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to have to do another vertical slope. Bring it above the ground. Level it out. And then it will be able to get back to the track. And then we'll start testing this thing out and making it work. All right, um, so as you can see, we're gonna need to increase the launch speed a bit. I don't know why I didn't just do this at the beginning because we wanna do the max speed of it anyway, so we're gonna have to increase it um, as high as it can possibly go in order for, for it to make it over the top, but also to get the maximum amount of speed out of the roller coaster. So 112 miles per hour. Hopefully that makes it over the top, and it just barely does. And it makes it home just fine. It was going pretty fast. You can see all the red there. The lateral Gs are what I'm most concerned about. Um, that's going to give us a pretty high intensity rating. Let's see what that comes out to be. It's 
So we've got an ultra extreme of 19.81. That is incredibly high. Very, very high. But our max speed is 131 miles per hour. So that's what's it going to be. But I do want to try to get this roller coaster to work. So where we're experiencing the most um, lateral Gs is going to be around the turns. So we're going to try and throw in, make the track a little bit longer over here. Try and slow the coaster down a little bit. And then um, we're going to play some brakes at the top here to try and slow it down at the end of that as well. So that did not quite help it out. I mean, pretty much not at all. So let's um, let's throw some brakes in on the other end. We'll just do a little bit. We don't want it slowing down too much because we need it to make it over the top of the second hill. So only put in three brakes at the highest speed that the brakes can uh, slow it down to. And it makes it over the top. So that actually might help out. Still some very high positive and vertical Gs. But the lateral Gs, which is the most important G-forces um, as far as intensity is concerned, are now in the black. And there we go. So the intensity rating is still extreme, but guests will actually ride um, extreme rating roller coasters. So this thing is workable. I, I don't think we're going to really get much better than that. Um, I don't think the positive and vertical Gs are going to come down at all, which, by the way, astronauts in takeoff usually experience about three Gs. Um... So these are going to be, that's going to be some pretty intense vertical Gs for these guests. But the human body can withstand G-forces up to 9 Gs uh, before they actually black out and there's body damage. <laughs> um, so no, no uh, danger that the guests are in, but it's probably going to be pretty uncomfortable. I do kind of struggle to find a pathway for this to make its way. I'm starting to get a lot of rides. And a lot of pathways just all congested up here. I'm going to have to open up the park a little bit and get some, uh, get some rides going on other sections of the park so we're not so crowded over here. But that's what we'll do for today. And then let's, uh, let's check out and see if, if the guests are going to ride this roller coaster. So you can see them all slowly making their way up this pathway. Let's see if any of them actually walk into this path. First guy doesn't have enough money. The other people, they don't even walk up to the entrance. They're just already not interested. We'll increase the price of it. And you can see there are some guests getting in the line there. So we're going to speed up a little bit, and then we'll watch the guest ride it and see if that increases the speed at all. So there are guests on the ride and it still made 131 miles per hour. But that is going to be the fastest roller coaster that we've done uh, so far by quite a large margin. So, so far the air-powered vertical coaster is the king of speed for us right now. The guests, um, as they get off the ride, it doesn't seem like they're too happy with the ride. <laughs> um, at least they're not saying that it was great or anything like they normally do. I'm sure they're, uh, they're probably pretty dizzy and in shock after getting off a ride that intense. But hey, that's what you pay for when you go to the speed park here. 
no cheap thrills. Alright guys, thanks for watching this one. Again, I appreciate every single one of my subscribers. You guys are awesome. Um, if you'd like to know how to become a member of my channel, check out the description below. Give me some suggestions that you'd like to see in the next video. I'll see you guys in the next one.